Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another life after video where today I will teach you how to use your knob properly. Everything you have to know about it and why it's so important to keep it balanced. So here's the thing. Did you know that by upgrading your knob, you can get more attack power from your aux? Most of you do, but there are some people that don't. So let's take a look at this aux right here. Currently, as you can see, it has eight attack power. And if I take it off and check it out, you can even see that it has 82 attack power. Now, if I had 85 attack power, that 85 rounds off to 9 attack power. That means we get 9 attack power, just like this. And as you can see, we got 9 attack power now. In the total stats, you can see it says 123. And if I took this off, then we would have 122. But this is why knobs are very important. Now, how do you know what level you need to put your knob at? Easy. If you take a look, take off your aux and it says 82, that means you need level 3 knob. Again, it's gonna round off 85 to 9 attack power. So if you have, let's say, 70 attack power on your aux, let's use this as a demonstration. It's currently, I have 4 attack power, so if I took it off, it's gonna have 40. That means I need to get my knob leveled up to level 5. And as you can see, if I put this on, we get 4 attack power, right? We're gonna put the knob on level 3, we're still gonna have 4 attack power. Why? Because it's missing 2 attack power. And you can do that by checking out like this. You have to unequip the aux. So you would need to have 25 attack power, 35, 45, 55, 65. You get it, that's the point. If you have 44 attack power, you're still going to get 4 attack power. If you got 33 attack power, you're still going to get 3 attack power. Because why? Because it rounds off lower than that. So if you had 45, that rounds off to 5. You guys get the point. If I made this knob level 5, then I'd have 5 attack power. So let me quickly just upgrade this. Quickly, quickly, boom. It's level 5 now. And this will give us... As you can see, 45 now, and if we put it on the aux, it gives us 5 attack power. Now, if I wanted to get 6 attack power, that would be almost impossible. I mean, it is possible, but you would need to get your knob level to 15 to get that 1 attack power. So this is where you stop. As you can see, 45, and to get 6, I would need to make it 55. 55 rounds off to 6. There are a couple auxes where it's actually worth to make your knob like level 10, level 11, you get it. And also, another thing, you can temp up your knob to also gain that one attack power, but it increases the second number, not the first number. So for example, if I had 44 attack power and my knob was 7, just temp up your knob, that will give you one attack power. And again, if this was 44, that temp up mod would give me one attack power, which means that would be 45. Then it rounds off, that's 5 attack power. So temping up your knobs does work, but you do need to know when to temp it up. And when can you? Because, I mean, if let's say you got 43 attack power here, your knob is level 7, you're gonna temp it up, it's gonna get 44 attack power, and that is a waste, literally, you wasted your temp mod, because it's not gonna give you that extra attack power, because it's not rounding off to 5 attack power. This is really in-depth and lots of things to explain here, but once you understand this is so easy and simple, there's no math science here. But yeah, you, everything here matters. Knob matters, even these two mods really matter. I see people use like level 4 sculpture and level 7 tassel, like what are you doing? You actually need the sculpture higher and you actually need this lower, because this is crit chance and this is damage bonus. Really, you need the damage bonus more. But this is kind of off topic now. Um, what matters the most is the knob. And it's all up to you guys how you set it up. You want to make sure you got the knob balance. Because I've seen many people ask me why I level up my knob and it doesn't do anything. Well, because you probably already leveled it up too much that you need to dismantle the knob. So let's say you have like 49 attack power and your knob is like level 9 or something, then you would have to dismantle. You don't want to have higher and you don't want to have lower. So here, as you can see, this is too much for my aux. I need to have level 3 knob for my aux because this is 87 and 87 rounds off to 9. That is a waste, by the way, because... If I put this on, look, 87, put it on, it's going to show 9 attack power. I'm going to take it off, 
I'm gonna take off the knob. And let me just quickly dismantle this boy. Boom, boom. Now it's the right level. As you can see, 8. If I put this on, boom. It's gonna have 9 attack power. We take it off. 85. That's what we want. So 65, 75, 85, 95. You get it. That's what the attack power should be on your ox. So let's say you have a saw blade 124 and your knob is level 7 then you can just temp up the knob and that's gonna become 125 which means 125 rounded off becomes 13 attack power all right guys so now let's talk about steel shield real quick as you can see this steel shield has 17 attack power and even if you take it off you can't see how much attack power it has what you can do easily is just take off the knob as you can see it lost one attack power what you can do is Keep dismantling the knob until you hit the sweet spot. So for example, I make it level 8 and then it still gives me attack power. Then I'm going to dismantle the knob again and it still gives me attack power. Then you can keep dismantling until when you put the knob back on and you see it doesn't increase attack power. That's when you can temp up your knob for your attack power or that's how you find out what actual level the knob needs to be for your steel shield. Take a look at this. Now, my knob right now is a level 3, and this Zambaro has 97 attack power. That means I need to dismantle my knob two times, so it should be level 1. I don't really even have to upgrade it. Or, I can add my knob level 7 times. 97 plus 7 knob level, that's gonna be 104 attack power total. And if I temp up the knob, it's gonna give me 105 attack power, which means 105 attack power, that is 11 attack power so let's take a look at other oxes let's take a look at kukri for example see this one has 61 that means if i put a knob level one then it would have 62 attack power then if i level up the knob three more times then it's gonna be 65 attack power that's gonna round off to seven attack power now if we take a look at other ones this one is 75 so we don't really need a knob for this guy we really don't but there might be better ones there might be worse ones this is actually probably max ap so this is good. For some of the oxes, you won't need a knob because 75 rounds up to 8. That means you would need to make your knob level 10 to actually get another attack power from it. So, you know, stun baton. Let's go to the highest one. This one has 87 attack power. That means we would need to get level 8 knob to get 10 attack power from it. And this is 4 star, by the way. And this is a really good ox. And if he 5 stars it, it's going to be 88. So that means 88 plus 7 knob. That's going to be 95 attack power. All right, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps because this is very important. Especially when buying an ox. Especially when upgrading your knob. I hope you learned something new in today's video. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you still haven't. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.